Hello and welcome to Kodokat Mets. The Mets trying to scrap out a victory against the Marlins to stay at least tied with the Braves. You can see that the Braves have just been so hot. The Mets are not choking. They're just competing against the hottest team in baseball over the last hundred games. And really, as Alonzo goes with the single season RBI record, so go the Mets. But tonight... It's going to be all about the red-hot Escobar. He comes up in the seventh inning. The Mets are getting shut out by Jesus Lazardo, who's pitching a heck of a game, until he leaves this change-up middle-middle. Fans celebrate the same way as Escobar, throwing their hands up to the heavens. Escobar gets a change-up, belt-high, middle-middle, and he does not miss. He hits a bomb. Escobar halves the lead here in the seventh, and then... He comes up again in the eighth, base is juice, two out, batting righty against a lefty, and he goes the other way. Doesn't try to do too much with the pitch. Oh, look out, Nimmo. Nimmo goes down as Stallings has to come off the dish. Pete scores, and Escobar is fired up. He's having an incredible September. Hopefully this rolls right into October as we need his bat, especially from the right side with Marte still injured. And Escobar has single-handedly tied the game up. Going with this outside corner pitch, if you're going to shift me and then pitch me outside, um, I'm going to take that. And right as this is happening in Queens, something great happens in Washington, D.C. And Abrams takes care of that. They were tomahawk chopping on the third base side. He puts a stop to it, and the Nats will walk off Atlanta. The Mets and their crowd see that Atlanta has lost, and it's Escobar again in the 10th inning. He inside outs this one to left field. J.J. Blade with the throw that's just slightly too late. Gary with the perfect call. It's the month of Escobar. Five RBIs, including the game winner of the 10th. And the Mets win it 5-4 to four to go a game up on the Braves. In this at-bat, Escobar batting from the left-hand side this time. Now he inside outs one. Lindor has to wait just a skip of a beat to let the ball get into the outfield and not hit him. And that's why the play is so close. You can see Lindor kind of just hesitate before he turns on the burners. He hits third when the ball hits Blade's glove. He slides in safe. Vogi just swallows him up, and the Mets go crazy. This is a huge win. They were down 4 nothing. They now have a one-game lead headed to Atlanta and really just need to win one of three to stay tied, and they hold the tiebreaker. But they have their three best pitchers pitching. So the Mets now with a one-game lead and six games to play, and it looks like it's going to take 100 wins or more to win this division. This has been Koto Cat Mets. If you like this video and you love the Mets, please subscribe. And then we'll sing. Let's go Mets!